It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 1190, and I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Hey there, happy Friday and happy day after Thanksgiving slash Black Friday, and welcome to another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily. This is where I answer your health questions related to fitness, diet and nutrition, and lots more. You send in the questions and I answer them for you. Now, if you wanna send me a question, come by oldpodcast.com slash ask. Or you can call in your question. Just dial 61 I love OHD. I'm also taking email questions too now. You can send me an email to health at oldpodcast.com. Now, if you celebrated yesterday, I hope you had a happy and healthy Thanksgiving holiday. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get to today's question as we optimize your life. Today's question came via email. Visarios writes, can you please explain how ketosis works? For example, how to get your body into a state of ketosis and what it does exactly. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you for the question, Visarios, and thank you so much for listening to the show. Ketosis is a term used to describe a phenomenon that can happen in the body. This phenomenon is the buildup of these compounds called ketones. I'm sure you're familiar with one type of ketone already, nail polish remover, also known as acetone. Acetone is just one type of ketone. There are many others. But when our bodies are in a state of ketosis, it means blood levels of ketones, like acetone, have increased to a higher than normal level. In fact, a common symptom of someone that is in a state of ketosis is how they smell. They often smell like acetone or nail polish remover. Now, I realize this doesn't sound all that healthy. I mean, who wants to walk around smelling like acetone? But I should mention that our bodies produce ketones naturally all the time. They just get excreted. But producing too many ketones can lead to some side effects, such as, like I said, smelling like nail polish remover. Now, what causes the body to produce too many ketones and ultimately fall into a state of ketosis? Well, there are some pre-existing conditions that can lead to this. For example, if someone has diabetes and they aren't controlling their blood sugar levels all that well, this could lead to a lot of ketones being produced and in fact, it's a life-threatening situation. But ketosis can also happen based on the type of diet consumed. For example, when we consume a low-carbohydrate diet, our body ends up producing lots of ketones too. This is a natural process and in this case, not life-threatening. When we consume a diet that's low in carbohydrates, like Atkins, Paleo, South Beach, and of course, the ketogenic diet, we find that the body produces more ketones in this situation. What ends up happening is because there's very little carbohydrate around, because we're following a low-carbohydrate diet, the body will turn to another source of energy. That source of energy is fat. But there's a side effect to burning fat for energy when we don't have a lot of carbohydrates or sugar available at the same time. This side effect is ketone production. So if we follow a low carbohydrate diet for weeks or months at a time, the body will burn fat for energy. But without a supply of carbohydrates or sugar, ketones will start to build up in the bloodstream. But again, when ketosis is caused by eating a low carbohydrate diet, it's not life threatening. In fact, this is considered to be a mild state of ketosis. Now, you might be wondering, how low is low-carbohydrate? Meaning, if someone were to follow a low-carbohydrate diet, how many servings or grams of carbohydrates per day are we really talking about? Well, there's no strict definition for low-carbohydrate. Usually, consuming less than 50 grams of carbohydrates each day will increase the body's production of ketones, leading to a state of ketosis. 50 grams of carbs would be equivalent to roughly two to three slices of sandwich bread. So if someone were to eat two slices of toast for breakfast and wanted to put their body in a state of ketosis, they would basically be done with their carbohydrate allowance for the day. That means they could not have any fruit, potatoes, corn, peas, pasta, rice, or cereal for the rest of the day. So now we have to ask ourselves, is mild ketosis harmful? Last year, I attended a five-day nutrition conference. No, scratch that. I attended the nutrition conference. In every profession, there's that one yearly conference that everyone knows about and tries to attend. Well, this was it. 
and I noticed that some of the most widely attended sessions were those that discussed the topic of, guess what? Ketosis. Heck, those were the ones I attended too. And when it comes to being in a state of long-term ketosis, here's what I learned. We are nowhere close to having definitive answers about whether being in a state of mild ketosis over the long term is helpful or harmful. Why not? Well, the problem is that most published studies have looked at whether long-term mild ketosis is good for athletes or for those with diabetes or for those that want to manage their body weight. So what about the rest of us? That's where we need more research. It is possible that following a low-carbohydrate diet may not provide consumers with enough B vitamins, vitamin C, calcium, zinc, phosphorus, and dietary fiber. We're also learning that following a low-carbohydrate diet may lead to a less diverse microbiome. Remember, the term microbiome refers to the good bacteria found in the gut. These bacteria help keep us healthy. A nice, diverse microbiome has been associated with improved health outcomes. But if a low-carbohydrate diet limits the diversity of the microbiome, then it may lead to unintended health consequences. So here's my bottom line. Right now, we simply don't know whether being in a long-term state of mild ketosis is safe over the long term. It may be fine in the short term, but it's possible that nutrient deficiencies can arise and other unforeseen health effects are possible. If someone is willing to try a low-carbohydrate diet and try and put their body in a state of ketosis and they feel great and are able to perform at their best, then more power to them. But I would want to monitor them closely over the long term to be sure that they continue feeling their best. And again, that's because we simply don't know how a person's body will respond to being in a state of mild ketosis over the longer term. And thank you to Drops. They have custom cleaning solutions for every need. Stain and odor laundry detergents, sensitive skin and baby laundry detergents, dishwasher detergent pods, laundry scent booster pods, and more. Super powerful formulas with plant-based ingredients. Their dishwasher detergent pods cleaned my glassware easily, leaving them nice and shiny. Drops are super easy and convenient to use. No measure, no mess, and lightweight detergents mean no spills. We're doing more cleaning than ever before, but it's hard to find eco-friendly cleaning products that actually work. Check out Drops, the laundry and dishwasher detergent pods that everyone is talking about. With over 10,000 five-star reviews, you'll see in no time how great their products are. Drops delivers powerful cleaning from nature with plant and mineral-based formulas to your door in low-waste cardboard packaging instead of plastic containers that end up in our oceans and landfills. Sign up for auto shipments to save big. You can pause, skip, or cancel anytime. Visit drops.com slash OHD and use code OHD for 25% off your first order. And thank you so much again for the question, Visarios. You'll be entered into a very small raffle on the first of every month to win a book, which is in just a few days if you can believe it. And if you wanna be in the raffle, send me a question just come by oldpodcast.com slash ask. You can record right from your computer's microphone or you can call in your question. The number is 61 I love ohd You can also email me questions now. Send one in to health at oldpodcast.com. All right, that'll do it for another edition of Optimal Health Daily. Thank you so much for listening and for your continued support. Have a wonderful Black Friday slash day after Thanksgiving, and I'll see you back here tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.